Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's battle mode time. This is all just for fun, basically. Then again, you know, the whole walkthrough was just for fun in general. But Zell, this is extra fun. <laughs> Wait, why? I don't have a second controller plugged in. What are you talking about? Why do I need that? All right, I'm going to put the computer at the max. No matter what level you put it on, it feels exactly the same. <laughs> Um, there's a whole bunch of zones that I'm gonna be going through. I'm gonna play only one win matches each because of the fact that it'll take me forever to play through all of these otherwise. So here we go, I'm gonna start with the normal zone and the objective is to blast each other to oblivion! You start out with um, two firepower and one bomb in each one of these except for certain special stages of which I'll be showing you later and that orange one down there oh wait, that shot that's actually the red bomber but it looks orange to me <laughs> it bl blew itself up that works in my favor and apparently it's me versus blue there so maybe the AI isn't as good as I remember it after all because they certainly are good at blowing themselves up <laughs> Uh, although that one's getting itself powered up pretty high, and I do not approve of this. <laughs> um, do not grab that fire. Oh, you grabbed the fire. Of course you did. Curse you, and now it's going to be... An, I'm going to actually try... No, all those walls are open. I can't trap it in a corner. Dang it! So this is likely going to end in a stalemate of all things. But that's actually good, because I'll be able to show you something. When it gets down to about a minute, something will happen. And I'm not going to be able to show that something because it killed itself. <laughs> and there's a little sound glitch there. But I won the match! Okay, the AI is definitely not as good as I remember. <laughs> Maybe I was a worse Bomberman player back then compared to now because I wasn't as intelligent. I don't know. Anyway, next stage. No, I don't want to select that. I want the Western Zone. And you start out right here in the middle of everything so this is quite a different oh geez <laughs> because everything starts out really intense with everyone on top of each other climbing over each other like gerbils <laughs> oh geez <laughs> good thing I got the kick that could have been a catastrophe oh dear must pay attention to the timing of the bombs explosion no 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 oh no you're oh geez Wait, what oh I can't drop bombs that's what this does apparently Wait, black one was able to drop? Oh, I must have had a different skull power up then. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right, we're back to normal. We're good to go. Hmm, maybe I should have been playing two games per match after all. Well, these first two stages are pretty basic anyway, so there's not really much more to show uh, past these. So I guess maybe I'll do two win matches on the next couple of stages. I, I thought... Uh, oh. <laughs> I thought that the... Uh, stages were going to take a little bit longer than this because as I said before I thought the AI was better and this is what happens when you r run low on time is that the uh, stage started starts closing in on you and eventually it'll get into um, it'll block off the outer two edges of the arena and then it'll leave you with a smaller uh, tournament like battle area you know like in level five all right next one should I really do two win matches? Well, I'll try it for this one. Let's go to Bomb Zone. This is the first one with a gimmick. Um, what'll happen is that bombs will randomly fall from the top of the screen like that and blast things. They don't have very high firepower, but the fact that they can trap you is worrisome enough. <laughs> so try not to get yourself in any corners. Oh, that could have been a catastrophe. Oh, and if any bomb lands on you, I believe it'll stun you for a second as well, which can be devastating too. Get rid- oh dang it, why did the enemy grab that? That's the worst thing ever! Maybe they just do that so, so that they can like ram themselves into you or something like that. Uh, looks like that one gives a minimum firepower and I just happened to touch it. Dang you contagious poison! I didn't even know poison was contagious, unless it's like poison ivy or something like that. And stop it. Oh, yeah, that was pure win right there. Oh, and I should also mention something about uh, when an enemy dies, or I should say when someone dies, not, not an enemy, <laughs> is that uh, they will drop all the power-ups that they were carrying and 
the other bombers have uh, the opportunity to grab the powers. Uh, maybe I should try better to trap them. Oh yeah, just like that. And I'm going to grab as many of the things as I possibly get in slow motion matrix. <laughs> Next one, yeah, it's definitely a good idea to have two win matches because I feel I'm going to be dominating these, th these things and finishing them off really quickly otherwise. I think the higher the number, the higher the computer AI level is, but I'm beginning to question that. Maybe I should try it at one or something like that, but I, I don't, I just never really noticed a difference. Yeah, see, did you see that? When I fell, I mean, when I uh, got hit by a falling bomb. I got stunned for a second there. Whoa! <laughs> uh, oh, jeez! No, not that power! Oh, oh, it just killed itself. That's okay, then. <laughs> that is, like, the worst one of all the skull powers. I can't even call it a power. It's <laughs> Well, uh, it, it can kill enemies because you go so fast and run right through them and drop bombs, trapping them sometimes, but... It's just so incredibly risky that it's not worth even going for. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. That black one almost got trapped there by his own terrible AI. <laughs> Whoa! I almost killed myself. Because <laughs> I, I kicked the bomb into the other bomb blast and- Oh, I killed myself. <laughs> for shame. After I talked about not killing myself, I ended up killing myself. I really, really seriously should not talk. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wait, that's one bomb blast. I mean, one radius, so I'm okay there. I was thinking of the other bombs, which are two. Oh, the boxing glove really will be handy here because of the fact that you can do stuff like that, you know, to hit the enemies on the other side, um, as well as box those things away from you if, if you should ever get trapped. No! No! For the love of God, no. <laughs> Um, uh, I really hope I win this to end the match. Oh, okay, I did. <laughs> I guess I should just say I hope I win, because then I will. As I said, it's everything seems to happen that I talk about. <laughs> Victory goes to White Bomber! Okay, that's good enough. <laughs> Next one is... Jump zone. Oh, okay. These have these trampoline thingies, and they appear randomly on the stage. When you jump, I mean, when you touch them, you fly high into the air, and you fall down onto a random square next to it. I don't know exactly how they work. Your best bet is actually, I would say, to avoid them because of the fact that they're random. As I said, I don't really favor luck-based stuff, but these trampolines do have a way of either screwing you like you've seen there with the Red Bomber, or saving you in the way that, because you're in the air for so long, that other bomb blasts avoid you. <laughs> I mean, that, that other bomb blasts explode under where you're about to land, basically. Alright, intense bomber battle is on still. Um... Okay, maybe this isn't that intense, but I am hoping to... What is that Black Bomber doing anyway? <laughs> Seriously! It just keeps going up and... Yeah. Well, maybe it'll land on top of a square... I mean, it'll, maybe it'll land around the edges and get itself squished by one of those blocks. You, an enemy can get squished by a block like that. Oh, no, 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 not up in the air! <laughs> I, I don't know exactly how those trampolines work. It feels so very random. And the stage is fully closed in for the epic finale. And it's not really about that. Oh, I was hoping it was going to get trapped in the corner. What a shame. Oh, what the heck was that? <laughs> that was like the worst possible timing ever. Oh, and needless to say, draws can happen, but... Both players, or whatever player, whoever players are left, have to get hit by the exact same explosion, and that is extremely rare. <laughs> but otherwise, um, when the last player is standing, they'll instantly turn invincible and will be the automatic winner. So that's how the game sort of makes sure that whoever is the last one standing, it will be the last one standing, unless the timing says otherwise. 
I'm going to try and make them go a little squeamish in different directions. I don't trust the trampoline, so I'm just gonna go around it. Black Bomber died somehow. I didn't see how at all. Oh shoot, Invisible Skull! Not good, not good at all. That is such a hindrance to, to human players, not to computers. They can play without knowing where they are, even though they're not supposed to be able to. And there we go. Yahoo! Victory! <laughs> I am making a bigger deal of victories than it needs to be. Dang it, why is there a trampoline right here? Why do they have to be so random? I like random things, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> Random is my forte. Um, oh, dang it. Don't touch the skull. Don't. Thank you. <laughs> I, it, I tried to scare it off with the bomb, and I was successful. They, it seems like they pick up the skull as if they think it's going to be a benefit to them. I mean, I guess it is a benefit to them more than it would be for me. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, dear Lord, no. Please, no. 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 <laughs> Not that! Oh, thank you! Thank you! <laughs> oh, I tried to scare away the computers by dropping bombs. As I explained before, the AI uh, in, in the arena back in level 5 tends to dodge your bomb blast and is very timid about them. They do a good job of dodging that, but they aren't like aggressive when any bombs are out on the field, so to speak. So number five, belt zone, let's get it started. Needless to say, those blue lines, they're conveyor belts, and that's the gimmick of this place. There isn't really anything all that special other than that, but if you drop a bomb on a conveyor belt, what'll happen is that it will actually move the bomb along the conveyor belt. See that, what happened there with uh, Red Bomber? And that kills a lot of computers because they're really, really dumb. <laughs> I remember that intently. Drop it three squares away from wherever you want it to- wait, actually, maybe it's two squares. Wherever you want it to explode. Yeah, it's two squares, not three squares like I thought. So if I wanted to blast those blocks down there, I would drop it two squares. Whoa! <laughs> that could have been a catastrophe if it landed on me, but it didn't, so I'm good to go. You know, I really want the computer to screw itself. <laughs> That's the best way of getting the computer here, it seems. And because I dropped the bomb, I was protected from a bomb landing on my head, which works. Or at least I don't think it landed on my head. It, it, I, I mean, it, at least I thought it looked it, like it landed on my head. Uh, this hurry screen right here will not close in the inside where the conveyor belts are, so it'll end up leaving the conveyor belts right along the outside. Uh, I'm going to... Oh, I scared it. <laughs> So I'm just going to drop bombs and hope that it blasts the computer with good timing. Delightful! And hopefully I'll be able to get another victory here for this final stage. I think this is going to be the final one that I'm going to be doing in this part. Final battle stage one. Oh boy! Orange computer is scared. It didn't know what to do. <laughs> it just twitched all over the place. I don't know if Cam Studio is going to pick that up. Because um, I, I when I use Cam Studio, I record in pa the PAL format, 50 frames per second. It just works better for me with Cam Studio. Uh, you you can barely tell the difference if you can at all in my recordings. That's why I use PAL over NTSC. So it's like, why even bother using some? I should say forcing something that doesn't work quite as good for me when I can just do this, you know. Uh, Cam Studio is also capable of recording at a whopping 200 frames per second, but that call, um, but that costs a lot of uh, megabytes worth of space. Oh boy, <laughs> and it and it uses up a lot of memory really quickly. So I don't really think that it's efficient enough for videos, especially since, as I explained before, the file size is what causes the files to corrupt when it gets over 2 gigabytes for me. And that fills up pretty quick at 200 frames per second. <laughs> um, I don't think it actually records that high. Because, you know, there's only so much processing power that it can do. Like, um, Cam Studio right now is recording at 18.5 frames per second, or at least that's what it keeps sticking at, at the moment. Even though I have it at, have it set at 50, it's just how it rolls. <laughs> but, as I said, even though I record at, at the PAL... Oh, that was, that was just tragic right there. Even though I record at the PAL, it just, you know, it looks normal anyway. So it doesn't really matter how it looks. 
It, like, the frames per second, uh, it doesn't really matter in games like this because there isn't enough movement on the screen to really affect, you know, to make it look choppier. The only time that a lower frame per second thing would matter is in games with a lot of detail, a lot of scrolling, stuff like that, it would, and then it would look a little jittery. But otherwise, it's fine for a stationary screen game like this right here. And that's actually one of the re reasons why I've been having trouble with Donkey Kong Country games. Uh, I I've wanted to do them for quite a, oh boy, quite a while, but alas, limitations are preventing me from getting some nice video off of it, so I haven't been able to do so. Perhaps one day I will be able to do the rest of the series, but for now, it is stuck in the vaults of games that I can't do. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be going, oh, to the hurry screen shortly. Do not kill me. I'm surprised there's so many bombers left at this point in the game. That seems kind of awkward, actually. I don't know his firepower, so I'm just gonna dodge it. I wasn't really paying attention to how much. Why is that blue bomber glitching? That was terrible. <laughs> All right, red bomber that looks orange. It's just you and I. Bring it on. Oh, The AI messed up again. <laughs> Well, anyway, that's all I'm going to be doing in this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I do the rest of the battle stages. Or at least I think I'll be able to do the rest of the battle stages. I'll be able to do most of them. Victory! Doo -doo -doo!